This is not a test. This channel has interrupted its regular programming to provide disaster information not being readily reported. Important details will follow this tone. Hey folks! Ira here. I hope you have had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for our report of odd events taking place around the world. For the record, today is March the 25th, 2017. We begin in Egypt where a building collapsed Friday leaving at least 9 people injured. The collapse occurred after a 3.3 magnitude earthquake hit the country. The accident happened at midnight in the Garden City area of Cairo. The cause of the accident was not confirmed. The quake was mild and registered at least 4.0 on the Richter scale. The Meteorological Agency on Friday warned that an underwater volcano about 249 miles south of Tokyo could erupt soon, spurring the Japan Coast Guard to issue an alert to ships in the area. Coast Guard aircraft found that the color of the ocean surface recently changed apparently due to volcanic activity. According to scientists, an eruption is unlikely to seriously affect any of the inhabited islands. If the eruption occurs, it will be the first since 1970, where a change of color in the ocean was last observed in 1988. In 1952, an eruption in the area killed 31 crew members of a Coast Guard ship. Oh Lord! Here we go, again. A supposedly free lunch for villagers in Burma turned sour after it landed more than a third of the rural community in hospital with food poisoning Friday. Hundreds fell ill after eating fish stew served at a Buddhist ceremony to celebrate the ordination of local novices. The entire 1,000 person village was bundled over to the nearest hospital, where 367 were admitted for treatment. Many were reportedly vomiting from both ends and some described aches and pains all over their body. Myanmar has a poor food safety record and visitors to the country often complain of food poisoning induced explosive diarrhea. And you thought that only occurred in Mexico. And. And. Egypt. Anyways, tests of street food in the largest city Yangon reportedly found around a third of it contained stomach churning, diarrhea causing, bacteria. A rare tornado with wind speeds estimated between 65 to 85 miles per hour touched down in the orchards, Portland area Friday afternoon, toppling a fence and downing tree branches. No injuries reported. A virus fever with disease symptoms similar to dengue fever is spreading Sri Lanka. As a consequence of this virus, a sudden decrease in the blood platelet count takes place. Apparently. Hospitals are severely overcrowded and due to this, patients are lying on benches with great discomfort. For those interested, dengue fever is a painful, debilitating mosquito-borne disease caused by any one of four closely related dengue viruses. These viruses are related to the viruses that cause West Nile infection and yellow fever. Another volcano in Alaska's Aleutian Islands is showing signs of unrest. Bogoslav volcano has been erupting, like our friends in Burma, periodically since mid-December. On Friday, the Alaska Volcano Observatory detected a small explosion at Cleveland Volcano. Geologists say the event at 8.15 a.m. did not last long and was similar to or smaller than other explosions of the past. Clouds covered the cone-shaped mountain and obscured observations by satellite or boat. Department of Agriculture specialists are investigating a possible case of avian influenza at a commercial poultry business in the Menlo, California area. The bird flu has not been confirmed. According to officials, there is no danger posed to humans in this situation. At least six people have been stung in a bee attack at the Pioneer RV Park in North Phoenix, Arizona. The incident happened around 5.30 p.m. Friday at the park near the I-17 and Carefree Highway. 
Firefighters say a 59-year-old man stung several times has been taken to the hospital. The other five people were evaluated on scene. Watts Bar Nuclear Plant Unit 2, located in Tennessee, was shut down on Thursday at approximately 12.15 a.m. And the reactor has been placed in a safe, stable condition, officials said. The shutdown followed an issue with non-nuclear-related equipment that supports the unit to turbines. Officials are currently evaluating the turbine system to determine the cause of the shutdown and identify necessary repairs. Watts Bar Unit 1 is currently offline for a scheduled refueling and maintenance outage. Firefighters spent most of the day trying to quash a fire at Recycling Scrapyard in Marion, Ohio after painted metal pieces ignited, sending smoke billowing into the air, which was seen more than 20 miles away. Firefighters have not stated a cause for the fire, but said something ignited pieces of old washers and dryers and that the paint on them was what was burning and giving off the smoke. A series of wolf attacks has prompted the closure of a beach near in British Columbia, as well as a ban on dogs at nearby beach. The decision was made after two incidents in which wolves approached and attacked dogs in the area. Dogs off leash are an easy target and it appears the wolves are recognizing that. Here's another reason why you should take the stairs as opposed to the escalator. At least 18 people were injured in China on Saturday afternoon after an escalator stopped and reversed, according to the South China Morning Post. Video footage showed the escalator changing its direction at a high speed, causing a pile up of people at its base. Eyewitnesses recounted seeing four men and 14 women lose their balance and roll down the escalator. One man injured his head and was sent to the hospital. A woman who injured her leg in the accident said the escalator was moving twice as fast as usual. She added that the same escalator had stopped for a few minutes at noon that day. The eruption of the Kambalni volcano in Russia on Saturday has surprised completely scientists. The volcano had been observed by specialists since 1993 by satellite and visual methods and nothing pointed to a possible eruption. The Kambalni volcano, a conical volcano, has been built up by many layers of hardened lava. Its previous eruption supposedly was about 600 BC. The crater is about 2,624 by 1,312 feet. The name originates from the name of River Kambalnaya as the explorers called it because they saw it was rich in flatfish. Finally, the number of children contracting the highly contagious and often painful hand, foot and mouth diseases on the rise across western Sydney. There have been seven children under five present to hospitals with the virus in the last week alone and there have been 60 cases reported across the country. Small outbreaks of the disease have also been reported in at least two childcare centres in the area hand, foot and mouth diseases general a mild illness caused by a number of enteroviruses. The disease is usually contracted by children under 10, but more common in children aged 3 months to 6 months to 3 years. Symptoms include a high fever, irritability, sore throat and an aversion to food. Small red dots then appear which develop into blisters inside the cheeks, gums, and on the sides of the tongue as well as on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. These blisters usually last for 7 to 10 days. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this to be interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. While at it, post your thoughts on this and whatever else is on your mind below. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day guys. Stay safe. This concludes this report of the emergency alert system. All normal programming operations may now resume.